Hello, and welcome back to We the People, Naturalizing Naturalization. I'm your host, Ishika Wachal, and this is the final episode of the series I created to help you study for the citizenship test or to just get a little bit more information about what makes the U.S. the U.S. So in today's final episode, we will be talking about U.S. geography and covering a few of the little miscellaneous items that were not covered in the previous video that you need to know for the test. If you need to see the previous videos, just click the little add card above and let's get started. All right, so what you need to know for the U.S. geography portion of the test. So the ocean to the west of the United States is the Pacific Ocean. The ocean to the east of the United States is the Atlantic Ocean. Then there's a question on the test that asks what states border Canada? You have to name one state that borders Canada. So that's Washington, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Those are the states that border Canada. Now you also need to know the states, at least one state that borders Mexico, and that would be California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. So know at least one of them. Now the next question is, there are two long rivers in the United States. There are multiple rivers, but these are the two longest rivers. And a fun way to remember them is that both of their names start with Miss. So they're the Missouri River and the Mississippi River. They're not on the map, but they flow somewhere here. Okay, the next question is, what were the 13 original colonies? That this was pre-Declaration of Independence, pre-Revolutionary Era, when the, these states on the East Coast, some of them were still colonies that had not become original states and then they became the 13 original states. And this is what is on the thir this is what the 13 stripes on the American flag represents. So those 13 original colonies were New Hampshire, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Those were the 13 original colonies. Next, you'll need to know what the U.S. capital is, and that is Washington, D.C. Next, you'll need to know where the Statue of Liberty is. And you can either say New York Harbor or Liberty Island. So the last part of the U.S. geography portion that you need to know are the five U.S. territories. You only need to know one, but here are the five. Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands. Those are the five U.S. territories. Now remember that Hawaii and Alaska are part of the U.S. They are just non-contiguous parts of the U.S. That means they're not connected to the main body, but they are not territories, they are states. Okay, that covers U.S. Geography. Now let's get to some of those miscellaneous items that you need to know for the test. Okay, let's start with some terms that you should be familiar with. First off, the U.S. economy is called a market economy or a capitalist economy. That is the type of economy, economic structure that the U.S. runs with. Next, you should know the term separation of powers or checks and balances and that is a system in the u.s government that keeps one branch of government remember the executive the legislative and the judicial from becoming too powerful over one another so it ensures that no one branch is overpowering the others next you should know that the rule of law means that no one is above the law that the government the citizens, everyone has to follow the law. No one is above the law. Also, you should know the three rights that the Declaration of Independence, remember, written in 1776, gives us. 
and those are the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay, you should also know that we vote for the president in November. That is the federal elections. Now, of course, states have their own local and state elections at different time periods, and there is a primary to determine which candidates move forward. That is before November, but the final election for the president happens in November. Also, you should know that the two main US political parties are the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Of course, there are also third parties, but those are the two main parties. Also, make sure that you know the name of your state governor. This will, of course, differentiate based on which state you are in, so make sure to look that up, as well as the name of your president, vice president, and speaker of house, your representative, your senators for your state, and know the political party of the current president, know the name of the chief justice, and know how many justices there are in the Supreme Court. Also, know that all men must register for the selective service in the United States between the ages of 18 and 26, generally at age 18. Okay, also, the US government defines some powers that belong to the federal government and some that belong to states, states themselves. So four powers that belong to the federal government is to declare war, to print money, to make treaties, and to maintain an army. And the powers that belong to the states, five of them include the power to provide protection in the form of police, to provide for education, to provide for safety through fire departments, to give out driver's licenses, and to approve zoning and land use. Those are the powers that belong to the states. Now remember, the Bill of Rights 9 and 10 have to do, amendments 9 and 10 have to do with reserving powers for the states and the citizens so that the federal government does not become overpowerful and does not is not capable of like limiting the states and citizens' powers that are not listed in the Constitution. And remember the Constitution can always change because we have amendments to change or add to the Constitution. Okay, I think that covers about all 100 practice questions that are on the citizenship test. Thank you for joining me in this journey, and I hope that you've learned a little bit about what makes the U.S. the U.S., and that you feel prepared to take the citizenship test. Also, remember that if you are preparing for the test, you can always refer to this little Preparing for the Naturalization Test pocket study guide that is given out by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or you can refer to your constitution, or look the questions up online that you can just simply search up the U.S. Citizenship Test questions and you should find a PDF with all the questions that will help you prepare. But if you need a little visual and audio help, you can always watch my videos. All right, so now that we're done, thank you again for joining me. If you want to watch my the previous videos or any other videos in the playlist, check out the video up there. And please don't forget to like this video and share this video so that other people can find it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you soon. Thank you.